Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Tigers, I'm Dips Y. And I'm Max Manalis, your anchors for this week. Hey Max, did you hear that LT Grey came out with a new magazine issue a few weeks ago? Yeah, it was so cool. Let's go learn more about it, LT Grey, in this next segment. Hi, I'm Miss Schiff. Hi, my name is Sarah Lee. Hi, my name is Young Kim. And I am co editor in chief of LT Grey. I'm the co editor in chief of LT Grey. Um, my job really focuses around the ed articles and actually getting the story through in our magazine. Uh, I run El Tigre. I am the advisor. I've been the advisor for 16 years. When I originally got here, it was a black and white newspaper. And then we got really savvy and we moved it to color. <laughs> And then in 2014, we moved it to a magazine because I was also an editor for a magazine in Orange County. And I thought that maybe we should bring some more life into the class. And with that, we've been able to like incorporate InDesign and other great things um, from Adobe to make the class a little bit more lively. So for 16 years, I've been doing that. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'm mostly in charge of writing my own articles as well as editing all the articles that come through from all the other reporters. Um, this kind of goes into finding the story, finding the angle that we want to take, as well as finding people that were involved in the story and getting quotes from them. Um, I really like that El Tigre is like a family, and so whatever we do, even um, like the hard aspects such as like getting articles in on time and like different designs. Um, I think I like that we're able to communicate very well and it's just a really good time and the best way to end the day. Honestly, my favorite part of the production process is not actually me designing, but having the students design with me and asking for their input and making sure that they're getting the look and the aesthetic that they want. And sometimes it's a classroom brawl for if we are getting the look that we want or not. And um, those discrepancies in the class actually make the class way more dynamic. And so I appreciate everybody having their hand in the pot, if you will, um, and making sure that they are successful in getting the aesthetic that they want. Yeah, I think the most challenging part is just getting everything in on time. Uh, the challenging part is definitely finding the time um, to schedule with everyone and especially finding all of those um, quotes that you really want in order to really encapsulate the story. Um, I think that that's really important. Like as a reporter, as much as we want to get all the facts in and get the story through in a non-biased manner, I think that's really important that you're really accentuating on the spirit of what the story is. I think the most challenging thing in this class is that there's so many moving parts um, that when you try to collaborate and get people to function at their highest level altogether, when they all specialize in very different things, is hard to orchestrate. And so I think that that's the most difficult because we have writers, photographers, graphic designers. Um, we are a Valtech class and we are a CTE class. So if you take me for two years, you get a medallion for getting through a pathway for CTE, but we also fulfill the Valtech requirement, uh, basically because of all these different components that are in the class. Every editor-in-chief that I've had or student that walks in my classroom has been a valued individual in my class, and I honestly have the utmost respect for my students in this classroom. They impress me daily, and I have editors uh, that have gone on to Ivy Leagues. I have editors that are now um, publishers for children's books and I have them who work for magazines and newspapers across the country so it's been really impressive I also have legacy students who are siblings of other siblings and it's been a really great ride for 16 years I can't wait to see what comes next now let's take a look at one of our spring sports Nikki Jabari Midi class of 2024 
Sydney Chang, midfielder, class of 2022. Miranda Gonzalez, midi, class of 2022. Emily Hasso, defender, class of 2022. Norales Camilla, attack, class of 2023. Daniela Magos, midi, class of 2022. Rhiannon Henry, defense, class of 2023. Hannah Sweet, attack, class of 2022. Reagan Sorrentino, attack, class of 2023. Damila Albernos, midfield, class of 2023. Beth Forg, Attack, Class of 2023. Jenna Garrow, Attack, Class of 2022. Kiara Gonzalez Luna, Attack, Class of 2022. Maddie Kim, Defender, Class of 2022. Veronica Cervantes, Midfield, Class of 2025. Sarah Akins, Goalie, 2023. Emily Mendoza, Defense, Class of 2022. Dawson Sanchez, Attack, Class of 2022. Jessa Lopez, Attack, Class of 2022. Cindy Martinez, Defender, Class of 2022. Jaden Reyna, Defense, Class of 2023. Isla Mahmoud, Goalie, Class of 2023. Mia Polonis, Defense, Class of 2022. Jennifer Castillon, Defense, Class of 2022. Hey you, this is a reminder to not do drugs. Drugs are harmful, even more so to teenagers. Drugs are not the answer. Here are the dangers of using substance drugs. According to the CDC, the main effects that drugs have on teens are a natural growth, development to the brain, heart disease, high blood pressure, sleep disorders, violent behavior, and depression. Teens who abuse drugs are at a particular risk for negative consequences. Additionally, teens that abuse drugs are more likely to struggle with addiction later in life and have permanent and irreversible brain damage. Stay away from drugs. Don't waste your life wasted. So, if you see a friend or a loved one using drugs, remind them that drugs are harmful and have negative consequences that will especially affect them later in life. Don't do drugs. Thank you for listening. This is Chase Winger reporting. Now back to the studio. It's been so hot lately. I know, I've had to wear a lot of extra sunscreen. Speaking of extra, let's go to Extra Announcements. Hey Tigers, my name's Dylan Castiglione. And this is Extra Announcements. Next week is spring break. Make sure to spend some time with your family and have a great vacation. Prom tickets are on sale now for $85 only for people with an ASB sticker. Make sure to get your tickets before prices go up. This year's theme is Masquerade. Make sure to follow the VHS TigerTube Instagram for updates on when our sports and event broadcasting is going live. That's it for extra announcements. Back to the studio. Prom tickets. Prom tickets. Well, that's all for this week, Tigers. Thank you for watching, and have a great spring break. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! That's good. Let's do one more.